Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves and the Detroit Tigers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. Just about set to go now, and on the mound in this one, Michael Lorenzen. Well, he issued way too many free passes this last time out. You can't win at this level if you allow that many base runners. So today, he's got to get strike one, put the hitter on his heels, maybe get some swings and misses, and offset those walks with more strikeouts in this one. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. That misses, and the count's even at two. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Swings and misses. That's strike one. On the ground to third, Maton. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr., fourth on the National League home run leaderboard. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. They kind of well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. Bottom of the first at the play. Akil Badu. The line to kick the pitch. There's the strike. Line to left. Ozuna makes the play, and there's one away. Here's Riley Green. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. Just a slow ground ball this time. Sends it to first, and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Kerry Carpenter in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. Down on strikes, and good work there as he gets it. Back at Comerica Park, second inning set to go. Here's Austin Riley. Lorenzen back to work. Swings and misses. Strike one. He's a good high school football player, Austin Riley. But you look at the build, you think quarterback, think maybe even linebacker. No, he's a punter. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Really aggressive at the plate and at it bat, Singy. He was hacking at all of them. Yeah, and he chased all three of the pitches, Boog. And that's not that's a bat ball. you feel good about as a hitter. But I think we have to give some credit to the guy out there on the mound. Clearly, those offerings had some serious deception to him. Swing and a miss. A and it's a ball and a strike. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Up the middle. No play. That's an infield single. 
Man at first with one gone. Now it's the DH. Vaughn Grissom. Grounder might be two. The underhand flip. Cried the toss to second. Double play. What a. Back here in Detroit. Bottom of the second. And the batter now, Austin Meadows. There's the strike. On one. Swing and a miss. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Here's the third baseman, Nick Maton. In the air, out towards left center. Ozuna settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two away. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Runner at first with two away. And now up to hit Miguel Cabrera. That misses. Ball one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Next offering misses. And it's two and one. And that's down and away. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Got him swinging. And that's the inning. Welcome back. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Lorenzo back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Ozuna, multi-time All-Star, 32 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that one. Kevin Pilar, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hitless yesterday, as they only pushed across one run. Swing and a bouncer, tags the runner for one. Over to first, safe. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Lottie, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Lorenz, it throws to first. Pilar on the move. And first offering is fouled off. Pilar, the base runner at first with one out. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. There's the ball. Throw to second. Save! You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. One and two here. Runner on the move again. In the air, right field, and there's two down. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. Sliced hard, but foul. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. The 0-1. And strike two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Popped in the air. Left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. And the batter will be the shortstop. Ryan Kreidler. Grounder off the pitcher. Throw on to Olsen. One up, one down. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Gonna count one, one and two. Two strikes. Right. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Pilar makes the grab on the run. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Akil Badu. And that's in there for strike one. Badu getting the start in left, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was a second round pick back in 2016. In the air to left center. Diving, gets down, could be extra bases. He fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. On the ground to third, and it stays fair. The throw in, and he's in there as a run scores. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. And a foul ball. Green at second with two down. There's the strike up high, and it's nothing in two. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr., In the air, out towards right center. Carpenter in position. Squeezes it. And there are two down. Riley, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Next pitch is outside. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. In the dirt. To first. And that is that. Back at Comerica Park. Ready to go, bottom four. Here is Austin Meadows. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now the third baseman, Nick Maton. And first offering is fouled off. Slice the other way, that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Miguel Cabrera, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Maton at third. Thierlin over at second with one down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. He had him out in front, which nope, isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit that back long there. enough on that one. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. 
Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Fly ball to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And the inning. Back here in Detroit. Here's Matt Olson. And a pitch. That one drifts inside. Ground ball right side. In plenty of time to first one away here in the fifth. So up next, Vaughn Grissom. He hit into a double play his first time up. And that one fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a ball evens the count. It's a good take. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Out to short. Whips it across, and that will end the inning. Great. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Dylan Dingler. That's in there, and that's strike one. And a swing and a miss there. 0 and 2 now. Got him swinging. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's a strike. Oh, he's gotten ahead with two pitches no down in the strike. zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate oh, right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Lorenzen back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. That's inside. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Ozzy Albies. Next up for the Braves. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. And next for Atlanta, Travis Darno. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That one misses, and that's ball one. Oh, 
There's the strike. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Late with the swing there. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. This one in the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Albies on its second with two down. Next pitch has popped up. Veerlin. That's the third out. No runs. And welcome back. Now here is Kerry Carpenter. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Righty delivers. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And the 0-2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The 0-2. On the ground to first. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. He goes down looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Popped up first base side. He makes the grab, and that is that. One left for... Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, one, Going one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a base hit right there. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Acuna runs. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. You know, nights like this, when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home run so far. So trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. And it's even up with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Acuna stands at second with no outs. Lorenzen checks the runner. Acuna dives back in. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around not distracting your teammate the hitter here's the pitch runner goes again chopped left side tosses to first that's the first out the top of the seventh and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit one for two and first offering is fouled off the tying run is 90 feet away Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And the righty deals. Skips in, and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. In plenty of time to first, and Olsen is set down. Really nice job behind the plate with the pressure on. Tying run at third, so he did a great job of not only completing the strikeout at first, but also making sure that that guy stays put 90 feet away. That doesn't go unnoticed. On the ground, out to short. 
Throw on to Cabrera. That ends the frame. One. Back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. A one down. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Foul ball still 0-2. And ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounced up the middle. Albies over to first in time. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Not sure stop. Next to hit, Ryan Kreidler. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. That pitch in for a strike. 0-2 oh, now. Swings and misses. That's out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Dylan Dingler up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Next offering misses down and away. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. Down in order. Back at Comerica Park. And now here is Marcelo Zuna. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. The tying run at the plate. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Veerling has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. Here's Kevin Pillar. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bounce to third. And it gets by him. Just one of those scene high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Orlando Arcia. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the Back here in Detroit. And now Akil Badu. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Right. Into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Green in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And it gets by him. Now it's Austin Meadows. He swings and misses at the first oh, pitch. 0-1. Meadows tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. Two outs. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. That's out number three. 
Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. The pitch. This to center field. Green settles under it. And there's one down. That's a big first out right there. And that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Green settles under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr., one for three. Good eye right there. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hell, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Next pitch misses way outside. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tie and run on base, but he can't groove one either. That's the third. Nice grab. Over to first. And what a play. Ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. one nothing. the final. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.